X-Men 63, The Feminine Mystique. Um, so I also made a soundtrack for it, which is at tiny.cc backslash X-Men 63, because it's kind of a musical. Um, like, it has the music of 1963 throughout. Um, okay, uh, January 1st, 1863. As a nation approaches third year of of the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation in hope that the freed slaves would join the North in their fight. Yes, and how many years can the people exist before they're allowed to be free? December 30th, 1962. Bob Dylan performs Blowing in the Wind for the first time on television in the UK on BBC's Madhouse on Castle Street. 1963, the year it all happened. January 2nd, 1963. Vietnam, U.S. helicopter crew chief watches ground movements of Vietnamese troops from the air during a strike against communist Viet Cong guerrillas in the Mekong Delta area. Or, yeah. Um, by 1963, nearly 16,000 American military personnel are de deployed in South Vietnam. Bayard Rustin organized the original plan for the March on Washington, introduced Martin Luther King Jr. to Gandhian nonviolence, and inspired King's decision to critique economic inequality as well as racial discrimination. Rustin's story has stayed relatively obscure because he is openly gay. January 14th. George Wallace becomes governor of Alabama. In his inaugural speech, he defiantly proclaims segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. January 28th, African-American student Harvey Gant enters Clemson University in South Carolina, the last US state to hold out against racial integration. Our day will come and we'll have everything. Our Day Will Come by Ruby and the Romantics. January 24th, Gloria Steinem is a reporter for Show Magazine. But I was supposed to investigate the Birmingham marches. Well, oh, whoop, wait, is that not the, yeah, okay, that's in the middle, sorry. Um, by uh, January 26th, interview Gloria is assigned to go undercover as a Playboy bunny at their new New York club. January 30th, Steinem is too old to apply, so she adopts the alias Mary Catherine Oakes. Despite lacking references or a social security number, she lands a job after her second interview. Playboy is desperate for bunnies. You are our bunny Marie. January 31st, the fitting. Ouch! The club says bunnies are chosen for three reasons. First, beauty. Second, personality. And third, ability. You have to pay for the upkeep of your costume. I'll give you a swatch of fabric to get your shoes dyed to match. Mm -hmm. So this is like the Playboy Club. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, there's a kind of semi-documentary about Gloria Steinem in it called A Bunny's Tale that's really good. It's very lifetime television for women, <laughs> um, which I'm a fan of. Um, uh, February 1st, we had makeup training at Larry Matthews, teased our hair into ridiculous shapes, and stuffed our bosoms full of Kleenex. We were American geisha. February 2nd and 3rd, we studied the Bunny Bible, and February 4th had lux uh, lectures with Bunny mother and father and a complete physical exam, including an internal exam. I found out the state of New York doesn't require waitresses to have any exams, so why were bunnies being tested for venereal disease? Suki Aki by Kyo Sakamoto. Um, hmm, I forget how that goes, so just picture that song playing right now. Um, please, sir, you're not allowed to touch the bunnies. Good evening, sir. I am your bunny Marie. May I see the member's key, please? Are you a key holder, or is this a borrowed key? Thank you. Now I'll be happy to take your order. February 8th, in an attempt to cripple... Fidel Castro's communist regime, travel, financial, and commercial transactions by the United States citizens to Cuba were made illegal by the Kennedy administration. We were bunnies made to speak like flirtatious robots, surrounded by pigs. Our corsets were so tight that our zippers broke if we sneezed. Girls with colds usually had to be replaced. 
February 4th, Betty Friedan, mother of second wave feminism, turns 42 years old. February 11th, poet Sylvia Plath commits suicide, suicide less than a month after the bell jar is published. February 17th, Michael Jordan is born. February 19th, the publication of Friedan's book, The Feminine Mystique, gave a name to the unspoken dissatisfaction women had been bearing in American society and is credited with sparking the feminist movement of the 1960s. Flashback, 1957, the Feminine Mystique interviews. I'm having trouble with this title, this mysterious feeling that there's something missing, um, something, oh, something more. This feminine mystique? Honey, I'm home. After a hard night working as a bunny, I get home and shed the guise of, a rep of repressed femininity and transform into someone more comfortable. I've been living as a man for years, changing as the need arises. Later, we talk about possibilities. March, uh, Casa Susanna, once named the Chevalier Dion Resort, is a home for heterosexual transvestites in the Catskills, searching out their true selves. The resort, owned by Susanna Valenti, is self-described as a TV haven, a place where the girl within can be developed. The guests of Casa Susana are not showy drag queens, but people that want to f freely dress as they feel most comfortable. Their wives are all also welcome. Sometimes they would sit and simply read together. Published this month, What is Remembered by Alice B. Toklas. Oh my. City of Night by John Retchie. Female Mimic Mimics Magazine featuring Christine Jorgensen, an American World War II era GI trans woman who was the first person to become widely known in the US for having gender affirmation surgery in the 1950s. The Amazing Spider-Man number one. Iron Man debuts in Marvel Comics Tales of Suspense number 39. And pictured here is Virginia Prince, publisher of Travestia Magazine. The End of the World by Skeeter Davis peaked in March 1963 at number two on the Billboard Hot 100, number two on the Billboard Country Singles, number one on the Billboard's Easy Listening, and number four on Billboard's Rhythm and Blues. It's the first and to date only time that a song cracked the top 10 of all Billboard charts. Billboard ranked the record as um, the number three song of 1963. March 5th, Camden, Tennessee, Country music star Patsy Cline is killed in a plane crash. Why does my heart go on beating? Why do these eyes of mine cry? Don't they know it's the end of the world? It ended when you said goodbye. March 20th, the first pop art exhibition is held in New York City. Pop artists Andy Warhol, Jasper Johns, Yoko Ono, Lichtenstein, Wayne Thiebaud um, gain national notoriety, as does the entire genre of pop art. So this is the last page I'm gonna read and then I'm just gonna like flash through the pages so you could like look at them. Um, March 18th, Vanessa L. Williams, first African-American woman to be crowned Miss America is born. I left my heart in San Francisco. March 21st, federal penitentiary on Alcatraz Island in San Francisco Bay closes. I left my heart in San Francisco by Tony Bennett wins the Grammy for record of the year. March 22nd, Sugar Shack Di Diner. Hi. Well, she looked at me and I could see that before too long, I fall in love with her. I saw her standing there by the Beatles. The Beatles released their first album, Please Please Me, on this date. Hope to, hope to see you soon, Mary Jane. Bye, Johnny. I must follow him. Ever since he touched my hand, I knew that near him I always must be, and nothing can keep him from me. He is my destiny. He's a human, you're a mutant. A boy like that, he'll kill your brother. <laughs> Forget that boy and find another. 
one of your own kind. Stick to your own kind. Daddy, I love him. No. <laughs> uh, West Side Story, A Boy Like That in 1961. March 27th, Quentin Tarantino is born. March 28th, I take our family to an opening night of Alfred Hitchcock's um, newest movie, The Birds. Four, please. Um, so the gist of this one, uh, the newspaper strike is over, uh, the circus is coming to town, there's a sit-in, Martin Luther King gets arrested, uh, and Coretta calls him while he's in jail. Uh, then, Mexicans in Texas get together to vote to elect some people that they want in office. Um, people in London uh, march against uh, nuclear war. Um, the first black Yankee makes MVP. Um, Martin Luther King is in jail, and someone goes on a kind of a, a protest march, which ends badly. Uh, then, uh, Gay Dude opens a magazine, uh, pretending it's like a fitness magazine, but it's like really softcore porn. Um, Gloria Steinem's um, story comes out, uh, revealing much of what happened there, which, as you can imagine, was not good. Um, the Children's Crusade, um, more protests. Uh, the James Bond movie comes out. Justin Vivian Bond is born. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's Homeboy's name? Um, Bob Dylan uh, walks off somewhere in a huff because he's uh, talking about the truth and people can't handle it. Um, uh, there's like a surf culture, which is hella sexist. Um, <laughs> Baldwin Kennedy mini meeting, he's pretty clueless and doesn't get it. Um, there's another sit-in, the Emmys happen. I talk about the ones that I find are like civil rights adjacent. Um, part two of Gloria Steinem's Bunny um, article comes out. Um, there's an Equal Pay Act, um, so women are paid, you know, same as men, still hasn't really happened. Um, there's that monk that um, lights himself on fire. Cleopatra comes out. Um, um, the University of um, Alabama is um, desegregated after some like issues. Um, Medgar Evers is murdered by um, someone in the KKK. Um, there is, oh, they uh, stop um, reading the Bible in um, schools, which is awesome. Uh, first lady astronaut, uh, or female um, cosmonaut, rather, uh, from Russia. Uh, Leave it to Beaver's over, so the 50s are actually over now. Um, um, Martin Luther King has, um, like, the biggest uh, civil rights um, March to date, other than uh, it was like right before the uh, uh, March on Washington. And then um, JFK goes to Berlin, and I put in Donka Shane because it's appropriate. And that's, that's it. That's, what, that's all she wrote. Yeah.